What is this piece of hair? All right, anyway, how do I get this hair out? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a BoxyCharm unboxing. This is for the month of December. And um, yeah, I don't really have too much to say about it, so let's just get started. In this month's box, I noticed that there were a couple of, um, there was a bit of like product on everything, so I was like, uh oh, something must have either broken or I don't know, shattered or something. So unfortunately, one of the products did come with a, um, a bit of a piece broken off which I will get to but uh, for the most part everything is okay and still usable but anyway let's just get into the box this month's theme is glitz and glam and this is what the card looks like and the first item that we have in here is this guy this is the Beauté I guess that's how you say it, Beauté Basics Bronze Essentials. And it says use individually or mix together for your ultimate bronze and glow. So I think it was this. Yeah, so um, a piece of it. Uh, Alright, well this is what the little thing looks like. But then I don't want it more to come out, but you can see a piece of it kind of broke but um I mean it looks really pretty besides that I know everything is kind of like bronzed now but um but this looks like a super pretty bronzer it looks like you have like some shimmer in there and yeah so let's put that on my cheeks oh yeah I should probably mention that I peeked to see what was in the box but didn't actually try anything so I do have uh, foundation and concealer and powder on but I don't have um, bronzer or any of the other products that I'm going to be trying out. So I think I'm just going to go like in the corner here. This looks pigmented. And I'm just going to tap off my brush so I'm going in like uh, see it's like going all over the place um, I'm going in this little corner here and let's just see what happens I dip my brush very lightly because I tend to get a little scared when it comes to bronzers Okay, I like that. Let's blend this in a little bit better. Um, but yeah, it's a nice warm uh, toned bronzer. Also, by the way, sorry, I definitely need to um, do something about this little lady stash up here. Um, but sorry. <laughs> Sorry if that bothers anybody, um, but I think I like this bronzer. Um, hopefully I can, I don't know, make all the little pieces stop. <laughs> Maybe I'll shake this out and um, clean it up a little bit, but uh, so far so good. I like that a lot. I'm just going to put a little bit on my neck to bronze up over there as well. And a touch on the forehead. Oh, so that Bronze Essentials kit retails for $40. Wow, I didn't expect that to be that expensive. Um, I don't know if that's worth $40, but I mean, we got it in the box, so that was cool. Next up are two products that go together. So first up we have this guy right here. This is a brush by the brand Crown 
brushes. This is the Deluxe Blush Brush and it retails for $12. And let's take it out of the little packaging. Um, I believe we have a couple brushes from this brand in the past. I love that there's like a little indent for your finger. Oh my god, my nails are terrible. I'm sorry. Um, I just took off all my nail polish, but now there's like a blue tint to them, so just don't look at them. Um, but this looks, ooh, it's soft. Um, this looks like it's going to be a nice brush. It's nice and dense, and but it's soft. And yeah, so like the next thing so if you can see the like bronzer got like all over this but it's okay um because it's wrapped up this is the real her be fearless be limitless blush kit and this retails for 32 dollars. and like this is so much bigger than that bronzer set and this is cheaper i don't know but let's see if i can open it I believe we've gotten a couple things from this brand in the past as well. Like I think I have um, some lip products and they're very much about um, like being a strong woman and really advocating for like women's rights and that kind of thing, I think, if I'm not mistaken anyway. Um, but I just dirtied the package so there you go this is what it looks like uh, in the sleeve and then you pull this part out and it looks very similar and then ooh, cute so there are three blushes inside you've got a like pinky purplish toned one called fearless a more um, rosy toned one called limitless and this darker more uh, brown toned one called unstoppable so kind of like what i just said they're very much about women being like fearless and unstoppable okay so i don't know how uh well you'll be able to see them but this is that brown toned one that middle rosy toned one and then that like pinkish one and they all look very pretty um they look like not super pigmented but sometimes that's good for blush because I mean I don't want super super rosy cheeks all right I think I'm gonna go in with the middle one limitless that's like the more rosy toned one but I'm just gonna take a light hand I say as I stab the brush into the <laughs> palette but that actually um it's a bit more pigmented than I was expecting it to be to be honest but I also did dip a lot in okay so I actually really like that blush I think it adds a really pretty color to the cheeks um and in terms of the brush um I really I do like the brush a lot I think that it works really well but I think that for blush I prefer something a little bit more fluffier just because I like to be able to blend out the blush a little bit more whereas this is a bit more dense and like really packs on the product uh, but I do like the brush I mean maybe for something else maybe uh, for like powder it would be more useful and to, at least for me, I think I will definitely keep using it. I did put a little much on today, but it adds like a nice rosy glow to the cheeks. And now I feel limitless. <laughs> no, I don't. But uh, anyway, next up is this guy. This is the Tarte Tardis Lash Paint Mascara, and this retails for $23. Um, I remember getting a small sample of this like months ago, uh, maybe in an Etsy bag, but, um, and I, I don't remember really liking it. I, I feel like it made my lashes like clumpy and 
I don't know, it wasn't my favorite, but I do know a lot of people do like this a lot. So maybe it was just a sample, so I'm, I'm willing to try it again. So this is what it looks like. I love the packaging. I think it's super pretty and super cool. It's got like, an, an, not an indent, but like a slant here. Um, and then like paint splatters at the top. And then, ooh. See, I don't remember it looking like this, so maybe I'll like this more. It's a, um, what's it called? A plastic brish bristled brush, or a wand, rather. And, yeah, let's just get started. I'll come a little closer. Okay, so this is the mascara. Um, I definitely like it a lot more than I remember liking it. Um, it's probably not my favorite mascara out there, but I do like it a lot. Um, and I don't know, I don't have too much to say about it. It did make these like a little clumpy. If you, I don't know if you can tell. Um, but... For the most part, I mean, it's just kind of like average to me. Um, I don't love it, but I also don't hate it. So, um, yeah, I think it was cool that it was in the box. I love Tarte as a brand. I love so many of their products. So I think it's definitely cool that it was in here. Uh, yeah. And then the final product is this guy. This is from the brand Pretty Vulgar. First of all, I love the packaging to this so much. It's like that vintage floral look to it. And I just, this is right up my alley. Like, I love this so much. Uh, this is called the My Lips Are Sealed Lightweight Liquid Lipstick. And this retails for $24. And um, it looks like a really pretty metallic liquid lipstick. Oh my god, that was so weird. I like watched the, like, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but you can like watch the lipstick come out. I don't know, I'm weird. <laughs> but that was cool. Ooh, uh, this is what the wand looks like. And let's just do like a swatch here. Ooh. Not the most wearable shape. Well, I mean, this looks pretty wearable, but... Um, not something that I would generally wear on a day-to-day -day basis, but let's try it on. I have some chapstick on, and I have, my lips are so dry, if you can, you can probably tell. Okay, this is the liquid lipstick. Um, I, I'm pretty impressed. I do like it. Um, again, it's not something that I would wear maybe on an everyday basis, but it's really pretty if you're like going out to dinner and you want a more metallic, more shiny lip. Um, it's not, it doesn't feel like gritty or anything, um, but it does have little glitters in it, which you can probably see if I'm up close. The formula feels nice. It doesn't um, feel drying or anything. Again, love the packaging, so that's a plus. So everything in this month's box comes out to $133, which I think is crazy. Every month, the total just blows my mind because you get this box for like less than $20 a month and the items come out to over $100. Um, but yeah, that was everything in December's BoxyCharm. I hope that you enjoyed it. Did you get the same items in your box? If so, did you like them? Did you hate them? Um, tell me more. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I would appreciate it so much if you liked and subscribed to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!